So many times I thought you'd leave me Broken inside, I feel I've lost my sanity I don't believe in happy endings Bottom of my heart and hope you'd still love me in the end time ago I said I was gonna do it I actually haven't worked her on the tires but a couple of times and she goes through one way pretty good and then the other way she kind of tries to go around or avoid as much as possible so there's gonna be two things we're doing today one we're gonna be practicing sending through the tire getting her used to it on both sides and she already knows that if she tries to pull her leg out and her leg gets caught not to freak out too much sometimes she does sometimes she doesn't so that's a good thing to work on too but the other thing is, if we can get her through the tire and comfortable with it, is we're going to be yielding her four quarters and hind quarters in the tire. So whatever part is in the tire needs to stay still or pivot, and whatever part is on the outside of the tire needs to move. So if her front end is in the tire, her back end needs to move around the tire. If her back end's in the tire, her front end needs to move around. Um, we had a session with Blue Rock over FaceTime today and found out I'm doing some things wrong. She's kind of tricking me in some ways. So this is a good thing to work on anyways. So let's get started. <laughs> When she starts to lift her leg, like right there, I'll take off pressure. So add a little bit more pressure. She lifted her leg, I stop. Then I ask again. She was kicking out a fly there. So I get a little stronger with my lead rope. Wanting her to try. There, she kind of leant back. So I'll take that and then I'm going to help her out a little bit. I'm going to bring her forward and get her back legs or back leg in and ask her to back. You can see now she understands what I'm asking and she's a little bit more willing. Gets her legs caught up a few times. That's good. Good for her. And she kind of stepped out sideways, but I'm still going to take it because she tried and she did go out backwards, kind of.
So here I'm asking her to yield over and she kind of just went through me. So that's why you see me character here. You'll see me character quite a few times on um, four quarters and the hind quarters because she just goes directly through me. So I just back her up, yield her hind quarters, um, chase her off at a quick speed. And you can see here she's really trying. And then she steps in and just kind of goes out and decides she doesn't want to try anymore. So I'm just kind of going after her, trying to get her to straighten and back up a little bit. And then we're going to do some trot work and changing directions. I'm just trying to show her that, look, uh, you ignoring me asking you to try and going through me is not okay. It's not fun. It doesn't get you anywhere good. So here we go back and try again. She kind of stepped back there, so I tried to pull her forward a little bit. Lead her through and walk her away to give her a rest, because she did pretty good. So here I'm going to ask her to yield her four quarters, which we're learning a different way to do it because she's kind of playing games with me. So whenever she steps back, that tire's in the way. So there, as soon as she crossed over, I stop her and love on her. With that tire there, it kind of helps her to where she can't step back. She can obviously step back into it, but whenever she starts to step back, I kind of pull her forward a little bit, like right there. I just apply pressure forward. As soon as she gets off that, I leave her alone. So I just keep asking until she steps over with her front. Stop and give her some love. So here I'm asking. She's doing pretty good. Stepping over nice. One step at a time. Now here she steps up on the tire and just decides she doesn't want to go that way anymore. So I just go straight into hustling her and making her really yield that hind quarter. Kind of just being loud so that she decides, oh, it's easier to listen and try than it is to ignore. So I'm going to push her into a canner, cut her off, make her work, yield her hindquarters, and go right back. Ask again. Keep asking. She's ignoring. Keep asking. Keep asking. There she crossed over. Stop and reward her. Now it's going to take a while for my timing to get better. You can see she has a huge release here. Tons of licking and chewing. So she's starting to understand, oh, it's easier to listen. Now, I cut out a lot of her pushing through me because it was a 30-minute video. Um, so I just wanted to leave enough in for you guys to see what I would do in that situation. If you've never led your horse through a tire, please don't lead them through directly in front of them. I would send them first because some horses can freak out and run through you. So there, I'm just trying to keep her head straight. See there, she kind of just goes sideways out. So I just don't care that tire's there. She can jump it if she wants, and I just back her up a ton. We did a ton of backing, came back, and restarted where we were at. Good. She gave me a couple good steps. I love on her and step away. There's another big release. When I'm saying big release, is she's looking and chewing more than once or twice. She's like looking and chewing a lot. So, here I'm just letting her rest in the tire, and I'm going to go and desensitize her without hanging onto her. She's got, I believe at this point, she had all four feet in the tire. And this is how we ended. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational, and I hope it helped you if you're having issues and what, how to correct your horse. Alright guys, it's gonna end today's video. Now, I do realize my corrections are a little harsh, but I want her to know that pushing through me, when I'm asking her to stop and stand, how she kept coming out and she was just ignoring me asking her to stand there, is not okay. So I do quick harsh corrections. You can see after she wasn't afraid to whip. So that's how I know my corrections aren't too extreme because if she was extremely punchy or extremely nervous, after I corrected her, that's when I would know I went too far. But I just want her to know that that isn't okay, and that's why I did that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!